Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So we are ranging at the moment, and yesterday was a pretty much uh, up and down day, although we do have quite a long tail on the 8 hour pin bar here. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean anything at the moment, but we have definitely tested this fractal at 37.591. So I would prefer a deeper pullback and then a bounce. But uh, for me at the moment, that bottom of range and top of range is going to be on the all time high, which we managed to print a new one at 37.902. So when we drop down to three hour, you need to smash that like button for us. And uh, you'll see the confusion. Big up, big down, big up. And then sideways we do have a fairly decent inside bar of uh, 37591 and uh, there is the level right there and then just above it yeah let's just put that one in as well just above it is this uh, potential double top it was two weeks ago as 37645 uh, we have found supports last week in there and then we broke below it, then we came back and then we found support with this pin bar as well. So looking at the oscillators, no indication of anything all over the place. We're still above the moving averages at the moment, um, although they are squeezing. And then when we start dropping down the lower time frames, we start seeing a little bit more of the volatility. So oscillators give us no indication of what's going on above and below the moving averages in a single day. Um, if you have a look, I mean, we started above, got below, got back above, got below, and now we're above. So when that happens, that is a range day. That was a range day. Uh, very volatile range day, to be honest. I mean, 300 points down, 300 points up. Extremely difficult to trade that kind of nonsense. But um, nevertheless, this is a range, and... Uh, you know, ranges are dangerous and if you look at this on the 50 minute it just highlights it even more so I'm sitting on the fence not really even gonna bother looking for levels here extremely difficult to try and pick up opportunities like this I mean it just traps everybody now, I think there have been people jumping in short share because it's a break of 37.591 which is a previous low so yeah you know, there's a bit of a, a rejection bar so you probably find people jumped in uh, trying to be early not waiting for the structure and then stops got taken out on this bar and then momentum was there for it to continue to the upside and it didn't really bounce off any structure to the left but it did bounce back down and bounce back up so above and below the moving averages really not something you want to be trading so i'm kind of of the opinion this either needs to to break to the downside for us to get a, res a fairly decent reset. Um, 37,591, but then you're gonna have to pay attention to the low of yesterday, which is 37,537. Go back to the hour, just to see why there is structure here. But that's an extremely volatile day, so I'm really not really keen on this at the moment, so we are forming lower highs but we are forming higher lows so we've got a big consolidating triangle at the moment so my advice is sit on hands with this um, and the dax uh, they typically go hand in hand in hand together so um, sit quietly and let's just wait for this to play out we do need a reset there's, there's no two ways about it we we are extremely extremely overbought We've got diversions here as well on the three hour. And if you start looking at the eight hour, we have crossed over and pointing down. If you look at the daily, uh, you can see big indecision bar, but look at us, we are extremely overbought with the oscillator. So we are really, we do need some kind of a, a reset and it either needs to be a fairly decent juicy range uh, to allow everything to reset, or there needs to be some kind of a pullback on structure. Um, the problem with this is that the structure is pretty far down. It's down here at 35733. That would make the most logical sense. 
But anyway, this is a strong move to the upside, so I'd be very reluctant jumping in short at the moment. The safest bet's going to be longs, but the question is from where. Uh, you know, you could you know, any break of structure here, the next level, you can pretty much be guaranteed that you'll have longs coming in at the bottom. So I'm going to sit down and uh, and wait this one out. I think uh, now today is really the, the first real day there will be some data coming through as well but i think friday is going to be an interesting day with non-farm payrolls to see where we are okay anyway enough waffle that's me for today sitting quietly and twiddling my thumbs hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now